Ow. Do you mind? I'm trying to film here. You done? Cool. The rose-breasted grosbeak, aka the robin that has taken voice lessons, is a close relative of the northern cardinal, with a beak to absolutely match. These birds, as you might be able to guess from that massive beak, are seed eaters, who take large seeds and then use the powerful muscles of their beak to crush them. As a handling note, this also results in them having a uniquely painful bite. Ow comparable only to their close cousin, the Northern Cardinal. There have actually been some very interesting things that have come out of study of rose-breasted grosbeaks. They're one of a few species that's been documented as having bilateral gynandromorphism, which is a fancy way of saying that they were split down the middle into male and female halves. Gynandromorphic birds are weird. There's no other way to describe them. They're also poorly understood on account of being so rare. The truly bizarre thing about them is that this isn't just some kind of intersex condition caused by chromosomal wonkiness. Each half is exclusively male and female, both genetically and biologically. But that's getting a little off track. Another quirk about these birds is that the banners under their wings show up extremely early. With most birds, you'll have a hard time telling if they're male or female until they finish their first molt, which is information we record for demographic studies. But male grosbeaks have that red banner under their wing right from their first coat of feathers, making their jobs a lot easier. As long as they don't bite us. They always bite us.